Hello and welcome to this quick start tutorial on how to use the Facecap app with the Bobby Rig. So first up you're going to need to download the Facecap app from the Apple Store and record some animations. It's free to use or you can just use the recording that I've provided. If you have downloaded the app then to get your recordings onto your computer you just use iTunes, uh, go to file sharing, click on Facecap and select the recording that you want say save select the location in this case we'll use the desktop and select the folder and it will save it to whatever location you selected so as you can see we've got these new ones if you downloaded the file you'll get the demo mocap files which is what we'll use in this tutorial all right so open up maya uh, create a new scene and then we're going to reference the file, the model file into the new scene. If you go to file, I create reference, and we're gonna use the Barbie rig optimized for this demo. Once that loads in, then just make this a little smaller so I have some working space. Now the face cap App will provide you with two files it will give you an fbx recording and it will give you an audio file so you want to grab the fbx recording and just drag and drop that into your viewport as you can see we get this animated head in the viewport just go back to first frame and then you want to use the face cap connector script for the optimized rig and grab this script drag and drop it in the viewport and the head just disappears so if you look at his head now you can see the animation has been applied and if you like you can also add the audio file that it provides just drag and drop that in there and let me turn on this audio for a second so now and I'm going to record that this is the demo for the facial motion capture. So there you go. That's how you add your own recordings to the Barbie rig. And of course you can export this and you can still animate the other controllers as the animation is only applied to the face controls and not all of them either. You can still add additional animation on top of this, but the, uh, the AR kit has been hooked up to the mesh and the mesh has been hidden. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoy working with this model.